now let's quickly learn how to render a face. Now the whole point of rendering a face means it should have proper highlights and shadow. So first of all, just go to your face layer and select it with the magic wand. Most of the part of the face has been selected. Now create a new layer. Don't start painting on this face. Just go on a new layer. Now first thing is you go to the brush tool here and you look for a kind of color that you want to make your face with and now start just painting part of the face. So this is the first layer that you have created. Now if you see this is on layer 2 which is our render one and on the render layer on this render layer only first you go to the burn tool now burn tool is a very interesting tool to create shadows because it is only going to create a deeper tone of the same color where you don't need to go and look for a shadow color again so let's say I start doing under the cheeks So this is how you can enhance the face curvature and there are other areas also where you can slightly give a shadow so that it starts looking more 3D. Yeah. Now this is how you have started giving a more uh, 3D uh, structure to the face which was before looking quite flat. My shadow tool is only going to work on the places where there is actual color filled. Better around nose. The nose. So wherever you want to. So this is how the cro how the croquis starts looking like. Now we have another tool called the dodge tool, which usually highlights the whole area. So wherever you're going to put it, it's going to make that area lighter. So let's say where all we can add that. The top of the nose, yes. So that we can showcase the curvature and some places where you want to give that whole idea of sheen. So this is how you uh, you can create even uh, more shadow and and if you think that uh, this, these are this has become too much so you can even reduce it. Uh, but shadow and dodge tool are uh, are my favorite to create a 3D effect on on skin. Something similar you can again. What I did here was uh, instead of using the brush tool, I selected the area and I did all backspace. So whatever is your foreground color, this all backspace is going to fill that color in the. Now this is how the legs of the illustration looks like in the beginning. Now what, now what I did was wrong. I actually filled the color in the, in the selected area in the illustration. But uh, as, as a rule, we always create a new layer and that selection now is available on the layer and then I do all backspace. This is only here. So this is not going to kill uh, the illustration that you have uh, started working with. Now it's time for creating shadows. So let me also uh, show for comparison. I'm going to build one more layer. Yes. Now we are working on this layer, layer two. Okay, this is shadow and burn tool. So the leg which is at the back side needs to be slightly uh, more darker than the leg that is on the in the in the front. 
and you can also create some sort of uh, uh, shadows in the outer edges so that uh, the leg uh, starts appear fuller so this is how you can create shadows in the leg and then again we can go to the dodge tool and dodge tool remember is for highlighting and I'm just going to highlight some areas so now see uh, these are two legs this one appears more fuller and uh, the same thing you can do with the hands and wherever appropriate you can and if you think this whole lighter color is uh, has gone more just just uh, edit it and if this part is okay then uh, we can just go on with this so this is how we can uh, uh, we can work on uh, creating a 3d kind of rendering on skin and uh, that gives your illustration an absolutely uh, different flavor than filling up flat colors in the drawing Thank you.